Have you ever wanted a Minecraft 2? Well, that's what Better Minecraft, specifically in this case, BMC1, set out to do. Now, there are two versions of this mod pack. There's a Forge version and a Fabric version. We'll be covering both of them in this video, but truthfully, it's crazy what Better Minecraft adds, well, to Minecraft. Whether it's new biomes, whether it's quests, whether it's new crops and world maps and all of that stuff, it's all in Better Minecraft. And truthfully, this is a mod pack that I would recommend a lot of people get started with when it comes to Minecraft mod pack. So without any more delay, how do you get better Minecraft one fabric or forge? Well, in order to do that, you're going to want the Curse Forge launcher. To download the Curse Forge launcher, you're going to want to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our complete text guide on getting Curse Forge, but we're going to be covering everything in this video as well, so don't worry too much about it. Just once you're here, click on the Download Curse Forge button to be taken to the official Curse Forge download page. Once you're here, you want to click on the Download Stand Alone button to start downloading Curse Forge right away. And while this is downloading, how to mention our company, Simple Game Hosting. You can check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below down below the breakdown of .xyz slash sgh and start your very own better minecraft one on forge or fabric super quickly and easily literally once your server is purchased just click on mod packs select the better minecraft version you want forge or fabric and click install from there you just copy the ip address send it to your friends and you can all join and start playing better minecraft together with that being said we don't just support better minecraft we support tons of other curse forge mod packs and you can switch to those easily should you change your mind in the future and we also support plugins individual mods and even vanilla servers. Truthfully, the options are endless. And while the goal is to make Minecraft hosting simple, should you have any issues along the way, we have live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out. So nevertheless, go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh and start playing better Minecraft with your friends the simple way. CurseForge is now downloaded. We can go ahead and minimize our browser and it's going to be located in your downloads folder. I'd recommend moving this to your desktop, but you don't have to. Double click on the CurseForge Windows installer that you downloaded. It's then going to open up the CurseForge installer just like this, where you want to click on Next, click on I have read and agreed to the terms of service here, click on Next again, and now CurseForge will install. It is literally that easy to get CurseForge up and running. Just click next a few times, accept the terms, and boom, CurseForge will install and open up right like so. Once it's open, what we want to do is click on Minecraft here. It's grayed out right now. That's because we've not set up CurseForge for it yet. Let's go ahead and click on Minecraft. Just click on Standard Recommended here and click Continue. It's now going to get everything ready, and we can get better Minecraft 1 by coming up here to the top and searching for BMC1. Better Minecraft 1. Now, as I mentioned, there are two versions of this, the Fabric and the Forge version. You can click Install on both of these. Click the Install button. I would recommend only playing one, right? Choosing which one you want, either the Fabric or the Forge version, and playing that one. But for this tutorial, we're going to install both of these because why not? Go ahead and click back there, and you'll see under My Mod Packs, you have both of them, the Fabric and the Forge version. These are going to take a minute to install, so I'm just going to go ahead and let that finish. And once it is finished, it'll look like this. Now, as you can see, there's no more, you know, like, downloading or anything. We have the Forge version and the Fabric version. I'm not going to play both of these uh, because... It's the exact same to launch both of them from this point. You literally just hover over the mod pack, click the play button, and then the Minecraft launcher will open. Now you will need to log into the Minecraft launcher, and that's using your normal default Minecraft account because, well, this is the normal default Minecraft launcher. This is the exact same launcher that you use to log in and play vanilla Minecraft, for example. So nothing out of the ordinary here, nothing crazy. Once you're here, you can go ahead and click play. Better MC will be selected. You may need to go ahead and add more RAM. You can do that by coming up to installations, hovering over the mod pack, clicking the three dots and hitting edit, then coming down here and clicking more options. And then right here next to XMX is the amount of RAM you have dedicated to Minecraft in megabytes. For better MC, I'm going to go ahead and do six gigabytes, which is 6,208 megabytes. But you could go ahead and change this to 8,000 or anything like that in order to add more RAM. But at this point, we can go back and click play and better Minecraft will launch. Keep in mind, it can take a long time to launch a mod pack. I've seen it take 20 minutes depending on the computer. So just sit back and relax. And it's not uncommon for the Minecraft launcher to close and then the mod pack still not to like open. And what I mean by that is it'll look like nothing's happening on your computer, but Minecraft is in the background still working. So if the launcher closes and you don't see anything, that is perfectly normal like this, right? There was nothing there for a second. Sometimes that can last a while. So don't freak out if it does. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and let Minecraft open and I will meet you on the main menu. And with better Minecraft open, we can go ahead and click on multiplayer. And I went ahead and set up a simple game hosting server with better Minecraft one forge. So we can double click on that and join right on 
everyone into it. And once we're in game, it's just like playing better Minecraft any other way, right? Obviously, we've got the quest book here. Um, why is it that I always spawn directly under a block whenever I spawn into a new world in Minecraft? Wow, beautiful new biome to get us started. And as you can see, we have the welcome quest. Things to do, all of that stuff. Start by clicking task and boom, we instantly get a reward. How cool is that? Really, really cool quest system that Better Minecraft has. It's actually one of my favorite parts of that and the additional biomes and mobs as well. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it did help you get Better Minecraft 1 installed, whether that's the Forge version that we're playing or the Fabric version. Again, it's the same process from CurseForge. You just click play and join right on in. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video and I'm out. Peace.